Hi, I'm Kara from Darling Vulgarity. Today I'm going to be doing a newly unboxing and try on. Most of the newly items I rented are from Selkie. I am particularly on a mission to find a Selkie slip that looks good on me. I am a mid-sized person. I'm about a US size 14. I definitely have a mom belly, so my midsection is not something I like to show off. I have the Selkie Dopamine Flutter Slip, which I've tried on before in my normal Selkie size, which is an extra large. It is too tight around my midsection. I won't even wear it. I'm so sad because I paid full price for it. And I went and had it hemmed at a bridal alterations place. So not somewhere that was cheap. And I've just never worn it because I feel very self-conscious in it. I am hoping that I can find one that I feel comfortable in my midsection area, but it also doesn't feel too loose everywhere else. So Newly is a clothing rental company and they do carry Selkie items. I ordered the Selkie Puck Slip and the Jam Flutter Slip. I ordered the Puck Poet Slip in an extra, extra large and a 1X. The Puck Slip is definitely the one I'm hoping works out because I have an event that I would like to wear it to. The Jam Flutter Slip, I went all the way up to a 2X. I wanted to try it in every possible size. I might like the way it looks oversized. Newly also had one of the new Romantics mini dresses for rent. It's in the Villa print. I much prefer the gifted print, which you can't get on Newly. You can only buy it on Selkie's website. It's like a dark floral. Dark florals are a little more my thing. If I really like the romantic dress, which I got in an extra, extra large, at least I'll know what size I wear and I'll know whether or not I like it on before I make the investment and buy it from Selkie. I also just got this random anthropology dress that I've had my eye on for a little while and the Selkie Unicorn Defense himself pullover sweater. So let's try everything on. I just wanted to throw on the dopamine flutter slip and show you what the extra large looks like in the style. I feel like it fits in the bust fine, shoulders fine. I just don't like how tight it is in my midsection. Let's see what the larger sizes look like. <laughs> This is the extra, extra large in the Puck Poet Slip. I went one size up. I love this. If the first dress that I try on is perfect, this is gonna be a disappointingly short video. So you can see on this one, the sleeves are more substantial. There's bows at the bottom of the sleeve and at the shoulders on both sides. The cut is just much more curvy and generous. There is a noticeable difference in the size of the hips and the bust than there is in the waist, which just automatically makes it so much more comfortable. I'm not wearing any shapewear under this. I'm not like sucking in like I feel like I was <laughs> in the flutter slip. I feel totally relaxed. It feels sexy. It's slinky and you know, there's room for your hips. There's room for your boobs. The length is also not as crazy long as the dopamine flutter slip was. When I got that slip, there was no way that I was ever gonna wear it anywhere before I got it hemmed. It was crazy long. I could really get away with wearing flats. It only just hits the ground and I'm 5'4". I love, love this dark floral print. Let me give you a close up of it. It is silk, just like the dopamine flutter slip. It is so soft and so comfy. It almost feels like I'm wearing my pajamas and I don't feel self-conscious in this. I don't feel like it draws any attention to my mom belly. I feel like I have room to breathe. I feel like I have room to eat. I'm pretty in love with this right now. This is the same slip dress in the next size up, the 1X. It is noticeably roomier. There is more room in the bust that I kind of don't need. There's a lot more room in the waist a lot more room in the hips. The back looks nice. It's a little bit longer. I mean, nothing I couldn't just put a pair of heels on and solve. I guess the 1X is too big. This one is a 2X and I've gone back to the flutter slip dress style. This is in the jam cake print. I love the print, but this is obviously too big for me. It's funny because now that I have a larger size on in the flutter slip, I notice that there is a differentiation between the waist and the hips. On the dopamine one that I bought that's too small for me, I, I didn't notice that at all. This is a beautiful dress. It's the same soft material. 
I love the color. I think it's too big. I think the extra extra large is the one that really flattered me most. Well, since the extra extra large in the poet slip dress worked so well, I'm really glad I chose to get the extra extra large in the mini romantics dress too. This is the villa print. It is really, really gorgeous. It's very botanical looking. This piece is 100% cotton. What I really love about these dresses is this gathering. I think it makes the dress really unique and more than just a little sundress that you could get anywhere. So you can see, you can just cinch up the drawstring to wherever you like it and then tie it to keep it in place. That one little detail makes the dress so unique and different and it really sells me on it. This is such a cute sundress. So I do love this print, but I think on my coloring, the gifted print might look a little bit better. It's newly, so I don't have to return it right away. I get it for a month. I can wear it around if I decide to buy it later. And I know what size to get, and I, I know that I like it, and I would wear it. This is the random anthropology dress that I decided to rent as well. I had my eye on this dress for a little while. I am a sucker for ruffles, obviously. And this is just full of ruffles. This is actually a size large. The review said it ran a little bit big, so I thought I would give the large a shot. I really like this one. <laughs> I just think with a pair of like white or beige cowboy boots, it would look so cute. You can see the bodice has the buttons down the front and the ruching, the ruffles all of which I think is so pretty. I love the off the shoulder sleeve. There's actually a spaghetti strap that's supposed to stay up and it keeps falling. I think it could fall down and you can't even really tell that it should be up. I love the lace detail. I love the sort of shabby chic look. Last, far from least, is the Unicorn Defense Himself pillow sweater, which is pretty hard to find nowadays. It's an older print. It is one of Selkie's most beloved prints and you can still get it from Newly. You can rent it and decide if you wanna buy it. You can see the print up close. I just have it on with a pair of bloomers from LG Linen, which is a really great company that makes 100% linen, Otec certified bloomers and other stuff. These are really comfortable. I wear them to bed a lot. Here's how Newly works. You pay $100 and you get one box per month with six items in it. You can add additional items for $20 a piece. I would never buy all six of the items that I rented because two of them were the same exact dress. Hypothetically, if I were to buy all six items, it would be $1,833 worth of items if I were to buy those same items full price. It's $100 to rent them, so add that onto the cost. If I were to buy them all with the newly discount, it would be about $959. So even when you account for the $100 that you spent for the rental subscription, I would still be saving $774. That is a pretty good deal. Now, keep in mind, the items that I rented were high dollar items. Newly is full of low dollar items. They have lots of separates, lots of tops that are just from free people or anthropology. They're not as bad as some, but I don't know if I wanna call them fast fashion, but they're not that far off. Selkie is a little more worth it to me because they are a slow fashion company. They're a low waist company. The style's a little more unique. I feel better giving them my money and I'm willing to give them a little more for the more unique designs that they have. Is Newly worth it? I live in the boonies. It's a big investment for me to order something online and then have it not fit. And the burden of exchanging something and losing out on shipping, which adds to the cost of the item, I'm just not interested. Interested. So I do love the idea of renting. While I think $100 a month is a little steep to try on clothes, I also appreciate the fact that I can keep these clothes for a full month. I can wear them, I can go out in them, I don't have to launder them, I can just throw them back in the box and Newly will take them back and say, okay, cool, you gave us the item back, you don't have to pay for it now. So I do think Newly is worth it for higher dollar items. Full disclosure, I have tried Newly in the past and had just entire orders with not one thing that fit right, not one thing I would ever wear. If there was a subscription service where I could pay $100 a month and just try on Selkies, 100%. Sign me up. Newly only has so many Selkies. They do have a good selection, but there's only so many. Maybe I wear them all for a little while for the month and then decide I'm good. I can send them back now. We'll see. Let me know in the comments what you think about Newly, what you think about the stuff that I tried on, how you feel about Selkie slip dresses 
on your body. Let me know what your Newly experiences have been. If you've never used Newly, I can put a promo code in the description. So check that out if you want to give it a shot. I think it's like 20 bucks off your first month and then you can cancel right away if you don't dig it. That's what I got today. Thanks for watching.